Now that everyone's all comfy and cozy with the preseason, it's time to start climbing yet again. What's going on summoners, my name is Crumbs and today we're going to be taking a look at 10 of the best preseason carries. With new items, jungle changes and overall adjustments, the meta has shifted. While we're still working through the rubble to get a solid grasp of what the meta will be, we've got a good idea so far. The season is still a bit chaotic so know that these changes are subject to change and could get better or worse before the season begins. We'll be giving you a breakdown of what makes them strong and a quick rundown on their itemization choices. That being said, let's not waste any more time and dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got Karma in the top lane. With the new items, Karma is able to take advantage and embrace her old tank top build. Thanks to her insane sustain and trading patterns, she is great at dealing with melee enemies and kiting them around. While this build takes some getting used to at first, it's incredibly powerful. Just make sure you get used to using your Mantra W rather than your Mantra Q, or else you won't be as strong of a drain tank as you should be. Moving on to her itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Teleport as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Shield Bash, Bone Plating, Revitalize, Mana Flow Band, and Transcendence. If you really need tenacity, you can opt for the Precision Tree Secondary instead. As for your actual items, you'll be building either Heartsteel or Iceborne Gauntlet as your mythic of choice. Iceborne is great at kiting out mobile laners and giving you the CDR for some early dominance. That being said, Heartsteel is an amazing scaling item if you're able to consistently stack it early on. After your mythic, you'll be grabbing Lucidity Boots, Demonic Embrace, Spirit Visage, Fimble Winter, and finishing off with a Frozen Heart. Diving into our next pick, we've got the Tank Ninja Shen Top. Shen has been a powerful champion for quite a while now. Between his insane percentage HP damage and his game-changing ultimate, he's a great pick. Ever since the teleport rework, Shen has only gotten stronger due to his ability to impact the map. With these new items and a meta that favors tankier champions, Shen is the perfect fit for any team that needs both a tank and some utility. Quickly looking at Shen's itemization, you'll want to take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. If you're in a hard losing matchup, you can opt for Teleport instead so you don't fall too far behind. As for your runes, you'll be taking Grasp, Shield Bash, Secondary Wind, Revitalize, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter. These runes will give you a nice early game trading pattern as well as some scaling. Finally, you'll want to build either Heartsteel or Iceborne Gauntlet as your mythic of choice. Iceborne is better for dueling, but Heartsteel offers far better scaling. Afterwards, be sure to build Plated Steel Caps, Sunfire Ages, Titanic Hydra, Thorn Mail, and finish off with a Force of Nature. Before we continue on to our next preseason carry, we want to remind you all to check us out at ProGuides.com. With our new $7.99 monthly subscription, you can take your gameplay to the next level with some brand new courses and bootcamp content. But if courses and lessons aren't your thing, don't worry! We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you out. As a member, you'll even get a 10% coaching discount. So what are you waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's not waste any more time and dive back into the video. Up next, we've got none other than Wukong in the jungle. While Wukong had been a powerful jungler for quite some time, he eventually got nerfed into the ground. His clear had been significantly nerfed and it wasn't worth picking him in the jungle anymore. But with the changes to jungle camps and items, Wukong is now able to thrive as one of the best junglers in the game once again. Plus, he can even abuse some of the new items to truly take his power up a notch. Diving into his build, you'll be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. Be sure to start with Moss Stomper Seedling for your Smite of choice. For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will give you great survivability and fighting power. As for your items, you'll be rushing Ravenous Hydra so you can stack it and snowball as fast as possible. Afterwards, you'll be building Merc Treads or Plated Steel Caps, Divine Sunderer, Death Stance, Black Cleaver, and finish off with either Amaw for Magic Resistance or Guardian Angel for Armor. Moving on to our next pick, we've got Mordekaiser in the jungle. Mord Jungle was an extremely niche pick last season. It was a decent pick overall that never got much spotlight. With the changes to the jungle making it easier to clear as well as easier to take objectives, Mordekaiser has climbed the ranks. He has found a new home within the reworked jungle and is fighting for the rank 1 spot against Wukong. 
with his healthy, clear, great scaling, strong skirmish, and even mediocre ganking power, he is an amazing option at the moment. If you need an AP jungler to add to your pool, make sure you give Mordekaiser a test drive. Taking a look at his build, you'll be running Flash and Smite as your summoner's spells. Be sure to start with Moss Stomper Seedling as your smite of choice. Your runes will consist of Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Alacrity, Last Stand, Conditioning, and Revitalize. These runes will give you great skirmish potential, as well as survivability. Finally, for your items, you'll be building Rift Maker, Merc Treads, Rylice, Demonic Embrace, Thorn Mail, and finish off with a Spirit Visage. Mord's defensive options are fairly versatile, so feel free to experiment a bit. Pulling us into the mid lane, we've got Syndra. Ever since her mid-scope update, Syndra has been an absolute menace in the mid lane. She may have lost a little bit of early game power, but her mid to late game more than makes up for it. Her new ability upgrades make her a powerful scaler that can easily 1v9 games. Just make sure you understand how her shard system works so you can stack them ASAP. Remember, you get two shards from a lot of different things, but your best option is landing two abilities on an enemy champion. Think of it like an electrocute. Diving into Syndra's itemization, you're going to be taking Flash and your choice of Teleport or Ignite as your summoner spells. Teleport is a great choice if you're looking to rotate and help your team, but Ignite will help you snowball kills a bit faster. For your runes, you'll be taking First Strike, Magical Footwear, Minion Dematerializer, Cosmic Insight, Transcendence, and Gathering Storm. This will help give you a bit of burst and early game damage, while also working as great motivation to take trades. As for your items, you'll be building Luden's Tempest, Sork Shoes, Shadow Flame, Rabadons, Void Staff, and Zonyas. Feel free to grab Zonyas after Shadow Flame if you need the extra survivability. Moving on to our next mid laner, we've got none other than Zed. While you may think that tankier opponents would be an issue for Zed, he's actually doing really well in the preseason. At the moment, he has two builds one where he looks to burst carries and deal DPS, and another where he shreds tanks. Being able to one-tap the strongest champions on the enemy team is really important at the moment. Zed is able to deal with the control mage's mid and can even outskirmish some of the junglers in the meta. If you're looking to add an assassin to your champion pool, Zed is a perfect fit. Looking at his itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be running Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Transcendence, and Scorch. There is also the option of going Conqueror, but it seems Electrocute is working really well for Zed at the moment. Finally, for your items, you'll be building Eclipse, Lucidity Boots, Yomu's Ghost Blade, Cerildius Grudge, Edge of Night, and finish off with a GA, Serpents, or even a Maw. Zed offers a surprising amount of tank shred with this build and can even opt for a Black Cleaver if necessary. He's fairly flexible at the moment, so don't be shy to adapt the build to what you need. Now before we move on, let's not forget about our favorite Pro Guides tradition. Today we want to ask you all, if you could make one champion meta for next season, who would it be? I think having a meta where Bard is powerful would both be fun and pretty funny. Imagine the amount of insane plays we would see with his ult. Well that's my take, and we want to hear from you, so regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comments section down below what your pick would be and why. Nonetheless, let's dive right back into the video. Pulling us back in, we've got the joyous AD carry Neela. Often regarded as Samira's happier sister, she's currently thriving with the new meta. Enchanters are at an all-time high and with that, Neela is able to single-handedly carry the laning phase. Between her empowered healing and experience passive, she can snowball leads and make her allies unkillable. While it takes a bit of getting used to, Neela is a surprisingly strong laner that abuses her enchanter support, sustain, and utility. If you need a strong AD carry that pairs well with non-engaged supports, look no further than Neela. Diving into her itemization, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Ghost or Exhaust as your summoner spells. Ghost is a great option if you don't need battle sums for the laning phase. Otherwise, Exhaust will give you the extra edge you need to win your matchup. For your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Sudden Impact, and Treasure Hunter. These runes not only give you insane healing and sustain, but you'll also get bonus gold to help you snowball. As for your items, you'll be building Shield Bow, Berserker's Greaves, Collector, or Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, Death Stance, and finish off with either Lord Dominic's or Guardian Angel. 
PD is great when dealing with a lot of melee foes, otherwise you can use Collector for some additional burst damage. There are a few Neela builds floating around that are experimenting with a Revenous Hydra Rush and even using Hardsteel, but this is her most consistent build at the moment. Moving on to our next AD carry, we've got one of the most played marksmen, Kai'Sa. With the preseason favoring percentage HP damage as well as utility, it's no surprise that Kai'Sa is doing so well. While she may not offer the utility of someone like Neela or Ash, she's able to make up for it with adaptable builds, wave clear, strong laning, and great kiting. Pros have always loved Kai'Sa for her versatile playstyle, and with this season looking to favor tank shred, utility, and or killing enemy carries, she fits the build perfectly. If you need a new AD carry that can quite literally evolve and adapt to most situations, look no further than Kai'Sa. Taking a look at her itemization, you'll be running Flash and either Heal or Exhaust as your summoner spells. Your runes will consist of Lethal Tempo, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Cut Down, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. These runes will help you scale into a tank shredding machine while also giving you some sustain in the early game. Moving on to your items, you'll be building Kraken Slayer, Berserker's Greaves, Collector, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, and finish off with either LDR or Guardian Angel. Remember that with Doran's Blade, Serrated Dirk, Nune Quiver, and the Pickaxe, you can get a fast Q Evolve. It's a great choice when you're looking to fight more in lane. Before we continue on to the end of the video, climbing can be hard, and sometimes you'll need help or just someone to play with. If you want to join an amazing community of people like you that love lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in the description. So what are you waiting for? Join us! Pulling us to our final role for the video, we've got Nami's support. Nami has usually been known as a powerful pick due to her strong laning face with Lucian. While Lucian and Nami can still dominate games, she has slowly become a support that can function without him. Her sustain, utility, and build versatility make her a great choice for anyone looking to learn enchanters. Plus, if your AD carry locks in Lucian, you're almost guaranteed to dominate the lane. Overall, she's a perfect mix of a little bit of everything that the meta favors right now. Diving into Nami's build, you'll want to take Flash and either Exhaust or Ignite as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. This will help you take trades in lane while also keeping you and your AD carry healthy. As for your items, you'll be building Imperial Mandate, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, and Watchful Wardstone. Be sure to grab your Spell Thieves at the beginning of the game as well. Also, before Watchful Wardstone, Nami has quite a few item options. She can grab Staff of Flowing Water for additional Team CDR, Ardent to buff attack-based champions, or Redemption for those long and crazy teamfights. Last but certainly not least, we've got Janna support. This should be a surprise to no one. Ever since her mini rework, Janna has dominated the support meta thanks to her great synergy with Glacial and her instant Q. While she's not the Pope mage she used to be, her great peel more than makes up for it. Janna is a great option for anyone who's looking to keep their team safe by providing a lot of space and crowd control. If you're looking for a champion that makes assassins and bruisers very sad, Janna is definitely for you. Taking a look at her itemization, you'll be running Flash and your choice of Exhaust or Ignite as summoner spells. Moving on to your runes, you'll be taking Glacial, Magical Footwear, Biscuit Delivery, Cosmic Insight, Font of Life, and Revitalize. This combination of runes gives you great peel, sustain, roaming power, and helps you keep your team alive. Finally, your items will consist of Moonstone or Shirelias, Lucidity Boots, Chemtech Putrefire, Redemption, and finish off with a Watchful Wardstone. Don't forget to start the game with your Spell Thief's Edge so you can get wards ASAP. And that wraps up our video for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Pro Guides family over at ProGuides.com where we offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you just won't catch anywhere else. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, good luck on the Rift and may the LP God smile down upon you.